Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am trying to redo my zucchini pizza stuff boats. Um, so, because since the other one, the settings was messed up, and because of my voice, I had to do the photo thing. I do have most of my voice back, so let's see how this will go. I am going to be using spicy chorizo. Um, this is the beef with, oops, sorry, for the glare. I'm just going to be putting some Italian seasoning because most of the seasoning is coming from the chorizo and some good old butter. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that butter. Sorry. So I got two zucchinis. Uh, actually, I have three, but I'm going to save one for later. Um, but isn't this, this one funny looking? It still had the stem on it. It's so cute. And they, they had my zucchini on sale at my Walmart last night, so I grabbed three of them. I got three of them for like $1.58, guys. Can you believe that? I thought it was, it was a really good deal. So I might go back tonight and get me some more because, man, I love some zucchini. So, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. This is Saturday. It's been a long week. <laughs> so, um... I hope you guys will enjoy the Mama Bear Keto cooking extravaganza show. And I shall return in a minute. Alright guys, as you can see, all I'm doing is cutting the ends off. And this one had a little boo-boo on it, so I had to cut it a little shorter than that. And right now, I am going to preheat my oven to 375 because that's about what I'm doing it at. Oh, that's my goofy oven. It could be between 400 and 350. So... This is for the, oh my goodness, what did I call them? Zucchini pizza, or zucchini stuffed pizza boats. And I'm gonna throw out a little challenge here. One of the people already know, I am doing a non-keto, a keto and a carnivore. So I've already talked to one person and he already knows that he's doing it, but I'll still let them know, I'll still tag them. And this is um, inspired by um, oh, what's her channel? She's got some really good stuff. Um, can't wait, smells great, Robin. So you guys need to go and check out her channel. She did something like this, but I think she put chicken in it. Um, and I don't know if she called them boats. So I'm kind of doing this like a boat challenge that you guys have to do this with any type of vegetable or meat product or whatever you think you guys can make a keto food out of a boat. You gotta stuff it with something and just try and make your imagination go wild and enjoy. I'll be back. Next step, cut them in half. Get a good old handy dandy spoon and then you're just gonna dig out the, the seeds. But keep the seeds because I am going to bake them. You may not. I like them baked. I baked them up with, um, I bake them up with a little bit of the seasoning. An extra cheese and it's just an extra little tidbit to go with it so just stop and think about that or you can just eat them raw that's up to you so I'll be back when I get that done all right guys I'm going to try something to see if I can get this so I can show you what I'm doing here just scoop them out just you know you just cut it around get your little thing and slowly just start scooping it out Oops. And sorry about the My Little Ponies in the background. That's what they're watching this morning. Oops. And be gentle, guys, because you know the zucchini is, gent is uh, soft inside. And this piece does not want to come out. Da See? Ta-da! Your little boat. Alright, I'll be back when I get the other ones done. Okay. All right, now they're all done as you can see and what I did is I took all this this is gonna be like a little extra little yummy 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 hey you gotta have a little snack right this just makes a nice little extra meal you know or snack with the day um, that's what I did I, I, I well I've been doing so guys all I'm gonna do stick them in my pan oh I gotta check on the chorizo oops I'll be back after I check on the chorizo. All right, guys, now what I'm doing is, I I'm sorry, I am nuking, I'm microwaving the chorizo. I'm just trying to keep it easy and quick and simple. 
Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of the butter, not that much. It's like a half a tablespoon that I'm splitting between all four of these. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of the Italian seasoning. That's why it becomes a, a pizza boat. Because that's what you got to do, right? Not only that, you know, you start craving pizza, here's, here's a very good healthy alternative. If you don't want to make the, calif the cauliflower crust or broccoli crust or the chicken crust or the fathead bread, well, here you go. Do it this way. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I used, oh my goodness, I think it ended up being maybe one tablespoon between all those. And now, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's raining Italian sauce seasoning, not sausage. Oh my goodness. Not enough sleep. Da -da -da -da. All right, guys. Now it's going to go into the preheated oven. Remember to preheat to 375. This is going to go in the oven. Oh my goodness, I forgot to do my little sides. Ooh, new. No. I got to gotta make room. They can't get left out. Why I'm putting this in there is to help soften this up some. And then I'm going to put the chorizo in there. And I'm going to put some spicy cheese on top. And, um, guys, it really does. To me, it tastes like pizza. Um, without having to have all the sauce and everything on it. So, that, that is just me. Just a way of psyching my brain out. Um, you can really get innovative when it comes to keto. And changing your mindset on food and your taste buds on food. I used to hate zucchini. I absolutely hated it. When I started keto, I absolutely fell in love with the taste of it. And now I'm trying new ways of finding out how to eat it. Um, I don't care for it like on a spaghetti type form. But I love it being baked this way. I love it being baked with a little bit of the pepper jack cheese. So that's what I'm doing. I Then I figured why not make it into a pizza boat type thing and see how I liked it that way with the spicy stuff so let me get my little sides in here I can't leave them out I need to I need to dry them off I'll be back see now they're in there in the middle and I did put a little bit of slap your mama seasoning in it I don't want them to come up and smack me because that's what they do when I say slap your mama seasoning so this is going in the oven for 15 minutes to help well, I'll probably be able to burn because it's more um guys quiet shh Sorry guys, they're playing Lego now. Um, just of having kids. So they're going, this is going into the oven to help soften this up. And then you put the meat and everything in it and it goes back in there. So it's kind of like a double baked zucchini boat. So I'll be back. Can you guys see that? I wish you had smell of vision Because it smells like pizza in here. It's Italian pizza. By about another five minutes and they'll be good to go because we're at 15 minutes now so it's probably gonna be about 20 minutes for this i'll be back all right guys whoops taking a long for a ride i am shredding up and i hope you can see this some pepper jack cheese I'm sorry about the kids in the background, they're playing. I can't apologize, guys, I'm sorry. I have kids, so it's gonna be noisy. Sorry, but it's gonna be noisy. And you can use any cheese on this that you want. I just want mine spicy. Um, so I'm using pepper jack with the chorizo. You can put mozzarella, parmesan, uh, cheddar, colby, as long as it's, you know, just watch your carbs because some of them have carbs. This has one carb per ounce. So, and I'm probably going to do like two or three ounces because I do have four of those to put about two ounces. I usually do one ounce per two boats. And my cheese is falling apart. Ah. So, let's see if that's enough. Mm. I think that might be enough. 
You guys can put it as cheesy as you want, as long as it's within your macros. Um, so if you like cheesy, cheesy, just do it all cheesy boats. Um, if you want a sauce, just make sure you put your sauce macros into your thing. So, da 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 da. I know this is not fun watching someone shred cheese. The old fashioned way. So, but hey, I'm old fashioned and I'm making a mess. So, okay, I think that's enough. Let me get the rest of this put away. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. Love, love it. All right. All right. I hope you guys got to see that. I'm sorry if you didn't. That's what I did. I took pepper jack cheese and shredded probably about two and a half ounces. Let me weigh it out. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's on my little handy nails scale. This plate weighs 1.5 ounces. So I have a little over two ounces. I told you to do about two ounces. So see guys, you still got to weigh it because you don't know exactly. So, all right, I'll be back. I got to check on the boats. All right, guys, look at that. See, they're nice and tender but not too tender they're still stable enough to where you can stuff them and look at the middle guys all that good once i'm done i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on that in the middle it's gonna be good to go so let's see if i can get some of this done get a little bit of that chorizo say hello what does that look like to you does that look good it's zucchini pizza box all right, guys, probably about a good, mm, whoops, that's a good tablespoon and a half. Da, 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 da. Just fill up that little boat. Remember to count your carbs in the chorizo, guys. And make sure you read the ingredients, because one of the ones I picked up, they had some nasty looking stuff in it. I put it back. I didn't like it. I forget the brand of this. I accidentally threw away the package. This was, you know, like four dollars. I had to be careful what I was spending. Um, so <clears throat> probably about a good two tablespoons in this, guys. I'm not measuring out the meat exactly because this will. Just be a yummy, yummy, yummy meal. And see, I have a little left over to go on this later in the middle. So see, guys, you're actually going to get five meals. You know, because you can take this and put it with a side salad, or you can have two of them. I will try and figure out the macros for all this and let you guys know what it comes out to be. So this is what we do. Get the yummy cheese. You know, you guys can add lettuce to this. You guys can add tomatoes you know you guys can make this however you want to chicken pork um oh my goodness guys you can just go wild with this you know just take whatever thing you want to stuff make it into a little boat and boom you got your pizza i know someone's probably laughing at me yeah it's not going to take over the pizza yeah well you just train it Get the goodiness in the middle. And I made a mess all over my stove. Oh well. Now this is going to go back in the oven. I'm going to put it in there for five minutes and then I'm going to put it on the top shelf to where it can brown a little bit more for another five minutes. So I'll be back. Hey guys, see that? That's five minutes on the bottom shelf. Now we're gonna put it in five minutes on the top shelf so that yummy, goodness, gooey, cheesy can brown some more. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, guys. See you guys, yummy, yummy, yummy. Look nice and brown. There's the middle. That's all the yummy goodness from inside with extra cheese and seasoning. All right. Got them finished and plated. My son's probably going to put a little bit of sour cream on this because that's what he does. So, that's the finished product. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. My little challenge today goes to a few people. I was only going to do three, but um, I'm going to do probably a few more. Hmm. Let's see. My non-keto friend I'm going to tag is Miss Beth Morgan and her daughter, Batgirl Lizzie. Miss Beth Morgan, you guys need to go and check her out. She's been doing a um, weight loss journey, and she's lost 50-plus pounds and 26 weeks, I believe. She's been doing a really good job. And her little her daughter, she's just so sweet. Then I know it's, it'll probably be a while before you get to this, but I just this is my way of telling you I miss seeing you. So Miss Wanna Be Better, Heather. I'm challenging you to do this because you love, you know, baking up stuff like this. So we miss you. And when you can get to this challenge, please do it. Okay. We miss and love you. And then Mr. The Keto Mechanic Richard, I'm challenging you because I know you'll come up with something good. So like I said, anything, meat product, which is probably more you. So, and then I think I'm going to put in Miss Lisa, Keto Keeping It Simple. She loves Daddy, doing a bunch of different things like this too. And guys, please go and check out um, Can't Wait Smells Great, Robin. Because she's the one that kind of gave me this idea with one of her things. She's got some really good meals on there that she's been cooking. If you could have Smell-O-Vision, she'd be the one you can have the Smell-O-Vision for. And I think I'm going to challenge... I don't think she's done any of the cooking things. Miss Simply Jordan, I want to see you do something. So I'm going to put this out there to you too, Missy. And I just want you to know that you're part of this community group, girl. Don't let the people out there get you down. They did that to me when I first started. You're better than that. And just because they're unhappy, don't let them make you unhappy, honey. You're just a big ball of sunshine. And I really love your gentle, sweet spirit that you throw out there. And maybe that's what just got them down. It's because you're happier than them. And you're doing a good job. So... What do you say? Can you do something like this? Alright, girl. Got you back. Alright, so this is Mama Bear Keto's cooking extravaganza show. Keto Chinese stuffed boats. Ouch! That was hot, Cody. You made me touch the stove. Stop, please. Sorry. Challenge thrown out there. I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. Alright, guys. This is my 15 year old son, Cody the one that likes to run into me with everything <laughs> he is going to, he's keto by the way how do you like keto i love keto better than everything else okay he's going to show you just how good these are so you gonna let him know if they're good or not i love your squash boats this is zucchini boats i didn't haven't done the squash ones i have to do, redo the squash zucchini ones. squash it's come on goofball I'm just eat. Are they good? So are they keto approved? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Tell everybody bye. Bye. Peace. <laughs>